guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another Wacky Wednesday for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And today I'm working on these two black and white photos of my kids and my husband. Um, and then the other one is the gondola in uh, Palm Springs, California. And so what I started out doing was I printed off the picture that I showed you from the internet, which is just a random gondola picture. And I used that to create my own little gondola out of white cardstock. And I added some little gray, and then I also put some vellum in the windows. And then I just took my white uh, thread and basically stitched all the way around all of those details. So I'm making my own little gondola to go on this page. And then I decided the vellum was just a little bit too see-through for what I wanted. So what I did is I cut out a piece of white cardstock to put behind those windows. And then I just attached it with some fun foam. Um, so that way it still looked like they're actually windows and there's some depth and dimension behind it. And so then what I am doing is I am creating some layers down on the bottom. So I've taken my background paper and it is from one of the Felicity Jane, the Essential Basics, I think it's called. And it had this black and white diagonal stripe on the back. So that's actually the back of a second sheet of that um, white with the black polka dots. And then I added some crepe paper, snow, and cocoa uh, little strips to the bottom. So I have a pink and a turquoise down there. And then you can also see um, behind where I'm creating some mats around my photos that I also added some black and white diagonal striped washi tape. And that washi tape is from Heidi Swap in her black uh, set that you can just pick up at Michael's. And it is one of my absolute favorite washi tapes right now. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that it's shown up on a few different layouts. Um, because it seems to add just the right pop of black uh, to uh, several different projects that I'm working on. So I highly recommend that one if you're looking for a really versatile um, collection of black washi tape. So now what I'm doing is creating some layers behind my photo. So I'm taking those same papers that I have the strips on the bottom from the Cray Paper Snow and Cocoa collection and I'm using those to back my photos. And I've intentionally left that bigger piece of pink cardstock on the top right and the bottom left because I'm going to use those to house my title and some embellishments. So I've left that pink sticking up and it looks a little bit funny until I get all the embellishing done. And then I'm adding this turquoise um, just over half behind it in the back because on the other half I am going to tuck in one of those 4 inch Normandy doilies from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And so that's going to be the top part of that photo cluster. So that's why the pattern paper I only had go over half of the half of the photo map. And so in a second here, you're going to see me flip back to my other page. And you'll see this better in the close-ups. But I have done some stitching on the background to make it look like the wire cables that go behind my little um, gondola car. And then I put this little piece of ephemera in the bottom. And I tucked it in under the pattern paper. But then I also popped out at the tops so it looks like the mountains are kind of sticking up off the page. And then I used some of the Spiegel Mom Scraps gunmetal gray sequins to create the track on top of my little gondola car. So the sequins looked just like the gears and wheels and pulleys that, that operated this gondola. So it was actually a really perfect fit. And then I went ahead and grabbed those two pieces of uh, washi tape and they're just torn pieces of washi. And those are going to be where I'm kind of building my title and embellishments up at the top. And then I am pulling out these brand new felt snowflakes from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And they are amazing, you guys. Each pack comes with a ton of snowflakes. And there's a couple of different designs. You can see there that the blue one and the white one, or the aqua and the white one, are different. I do go back and change them to be the same. But you do get a couple of different options in these packs of felties, which is really cool. And so I'm going to have two white ones, and there you see I flipped it out and changed, traded it so that they all look the same. I am going to have three different ones, so one turquoise and two white. And then I took the gunmetal uh, sequins and added them to the center to kind of pull that element across the page. And now I'm pulling out some puffy stickers from Snow and Coco. And so winter is just going to live across the top of my title up there. And then I'm going to put this little phrase next to it that says beautiful and bright. So I'm kind of building some embellishment detail up there at the top of the photos. And then I have another little cluster that's going to be in the middle of the photos on the bottom. And then I have my big gondola detail as well as that cluster down there in the bottom left. 
And so the rest of the layout itself is going to stay pretty simple because I have so much going on in those kind of three areas. So my photo cluster area, my gondola that I definitely want, you know, want the viewer to notice and pay attention to because it's a really neat detail that kind of matches the experience. And then I also have that third cluster to make my visual triangle down there in the bottom left. So now I'm just going through playing with any of the other embellishments that I wanted to add. And I did go back and pull out my second pack of these little puffy stickers because I wanted more of those little turquoise snowflake details. Um, because I did put some up there in the top left. And then I also have some down in the bottom right where the words burr got added. And those are just puffy stickers as well. And then I tucked in a couple little, little stickers up in the top and you'll see those better in the close-ups. And then I went back and added some more sequin details. So I pulled out the white sequins from the Wedding Bells mix. And then the pink and the tiny gunmetal ones are from the Mint Chip Sequins mix, also from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And having those gunmetal sequins in two different sizes, I really like how that added to this layout. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw and you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye!